All right, welcome to an episode of the React Foundation series. In the previous episode, we got the form working. Uh, so in this episode right here, we're going to actually make it function where we can type something in, and then uh, it'll be able to add the data we typed into the form into our page over here. So how do we do that? Well, let's head over into the code and take a look. Uh, so you can see here that we have a form. What we're going to use is the thing in, a, in React called refs. So refs, uh, I'm going to call this ref email. And uh, this ref here is going to be called name. So what are refs? Refs allow us to basically access these individual elements from our function over here. So for example, we have this uh, add contact function. Uh, what we need to do as well is we need to bind our form uh, on submit to this function here so that you know we're able to uh, call this function and it'll add the data to it. So, um, so now we're gonna do uh, on submit and uh, basically we're gonna use the this.add contact. All right, so close that out. So basically now when I submit this form, it's gonna call this function here. Uh, and so we need to then replace a few things in here with the data actually from the form. So how do we do that? Well, it's very simple. Once we've implemented this ref part over here, uh, it's very, very simple as you'll see in just a bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the name with the name field here. So I'm gonna remove this part here and then just do this.refs.name.value. It's that simple. So now we're gonna do the email. So this.refs.email.value. All right, so now uh, once we add the value, what we need to do is kind of like empty out the form as well. So let me show you uh, uh, how this works right now. So if I uh, hit this over here, I'm gonna do test at example.com and then do, uh, you know, Zach test. I click add. It's gonna actually take the value and create the contact as you can see. Uh, however, um, you know, it's not clearing out this form and if we click add again, it's just gonna add the same thing. So ideally what we would like is, you know, for it to empty out. So that's pretty simple. Uh, so this.refs.name.value uh, equals no. And then this.refs.email.value equals no. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, it's very, very simple. So now if I go and do Zach at codemy.net, uh, Zach again, I click add. And so now it empties out the form. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's not going to add another item when we click add because it's empty. And because we set the field type to email, it's just not going to pass a validation. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, you know, it's all nice that we got all this working. But in the future episode, what we're going to be working with is we're going to create... Um, we're going to start off, you know, having some kind of back end where we can store all this data and, uh, you know, wiring up React in a way that, you know, we can have data persisting on the database somewhere. And then when we call uh, the, the component, it's going to pull the data from the database, render it for us. And when we do uh, an action like submitting a form, it's actually going to persist to the remote database and then it's going to update the view and all that stuff is going to come in the future episodes. So if you find that, you know, interesting, then become a member. Uh, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It supports our channel. Uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.